Hi guys, welcome back with new video. I am Salind. This is my SL Dev Code YouTube channel. And also, this is the third tutorial of this OpenCV and EMGU CV video series using C Sharp. Previous two videos, I have talked about basic of OpenCV and basic of EMGU CV. In this video, I am going to show you guys how to read and display image using EMGU CV. So, let's go to the video. Uh, assume that you have already installed Visual Studio 2019 and EMGU CV. If you haven't installed EMGU CV yet, you can go to this website and download it. I will put those links in my description. If you want to download the, this, you can check my description. I am not going to download it. I already downloaded it. This is the setup. You can install using this. Uh, you can install it using this setup. I am not going to install. I will uh, show you uh, installed EMG CV. So this is EMG CV folders. This is a bin folder. There is there are so many DLL files. You can see a lot of DLL files. I will explain those configuration also. Now you uh, open your Visual Studio 2019 and you have to create C Sharp project. Continue without code. Yes, it's open. Now click file. And new click project. Now you have to select C Sharp and Windows Form application. You have to select Windows Form application. C Sharp, yes. After that, click next button. And you have to give a project name. I will give EMGU CV. Tutorial 3 Hereafter you have to choose your location select your location. I will give that location and create We'll see mm, It's building it's creating your project So, so here is the Windows Form application. What I want to do is first to make sure that to that to a configurations application to use MGU CV. You have to browse your location. The first step is you need to add references. Add browse to your location where you install your MGU CV. Uh, you have to select debugger folder those four DLL files you have to select most important DLL file is EMGU CV world and ok uh, so the first step is done the next step is that I need to include to add the DLLs which actually open CV files I click the project and existing project select exi existing project select yes um, and inside the bin folder if your operation system is 64 bit go to the 64 if your operation system is to 32 bit go to x86 yes second step is done now third and very important step also that you need to make sure those changes also select those dll files and you have to uh, Copy all, select copy all this and in, and save. After that, finally you have to uh, right click to a project, right click to a project and go to properties and select build and you have to select to a platform target. It says 64 bits 
and save it. Yes, configurations are finished. All the all those things are done. Now you have to design your form. I put a put picture box and it can be resized like this. And you have to add three buttons: open, exit, and those buttons are very important exit and open button you can change the picture picture box name i'll change it pick original pick open yes after that you have to change your form name there is a empty text fold empty text field yes this is EMGUCB Tutorial 3 Yes uh, Now you have to add now, now I am going to add button This button is to open button So I have to open the image using button That's why I include this button I You name it BTN open and you have to change button name I will give open image yes after that you have to add button yes this button is I will give this button name btn exit yes Text field I will I'll change exit yes yes already done those things now you have to give uh, text field text box and you can give a topic for your form I'll give EMGUCV tutorial 3. Yes. Oh, sorry. There is a blank field. You have to change it. This this one is not is my fault. Sorry. Those fi this field I must change. MGUCV tutorial 3. Yes, it's okay. Now I am going to um, add colors to my uh, form. I'll change background color. Yes, it's nice. No. Yes, this color is nice. Now I am going to uh, change headline. I will give this color and I want to change the font size all those things you can do like this you can center it like this drag and drop after that I will change picture box color I will give it white color yes Next step is you have to change your button design, font size not change, I will bold it and select this pink color button, it also I will bold, I will yes, now my design is ok, I think it's very nice, now you have to exit function application dot exit exit dot executable application dot exit this is the exit button function uh, hereafter you have to add uh, 
so uh, you have to add emgcv libraries using emgu sorry emgu yes uh, next line is using emgu cv emgu.cv here after you have to add using emgucv.cv.structure cv.structure uh, now i am going to code my open function you have to exception you have to give exception try catch catch exception exception ex now you can give message message box dot show what you want to display message ex dot message yes uh, now open dialog open file dialog box OFT open file directory and new open file dialog yes mm. now where do you if OFD open file directory show show dialog double equal dialog results dot ok and image image bgr comma white blue green red and white img image img input equal new image bgr byte and you have to give OFD dot file name yes the next line image pick open is your picture box name and dot image equal new sorry equal img input dot bitmap yes now code is okay all things are done now you can see my code this is the code now i now i am going to running my code yes it's running now you have to select open image button now you can Im select image and open yes so this is the video today video don't forget to click subscribe to get the latest content from my channel thanks for watching goodbye